गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज रिक्रूटमेंट वी विल स्टडी द डेफिनेशन पार्ट कंसेप्ट पार्ट एंड वेरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक स्टार्टिंग विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ सर्चिंग द कैंडिडेट फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड स्टिमुलेटिंग दैम दैट इज मोटिवेटिंग दैम attracting them to apply for jobs in the organization it is the activity that links the employers and the job seekers a summary of few definitions of recruitment can be understood below a process of finding and attracting capable applicants for employment the process begins when new recruits are sought and ends when their applications are submitted the result is a pool of applications from which new employees are selected it is the process to discover sources of manpower to meet the requirements of staffing schedule and to employ effective measures for attracting that manpower in adequate numbers to facilitate effective selection of an efficient working force so recruitment is basically searching the suitable candidates and then stimulating them to apply for the jobs in the organization further we have some more meanings recruitment of candidates is the function preceding the selection which helps create a pool of prospective employees for the organization so that the management can select the right candidate for the right job from this pool so basically the compatible the candidates the prospective candidates are attracted towards the organization when they get attracted they apply for the job and they apply through an application form when all the applications come there is a pool being created which is called application pool and out of that pool suitable and best possible candidates are then shortlisted the main objective of the recruitment process is to expedite the selection process so first recru recruitment process comes and then selection process starts recruitment is a continuous process whereby the firm attempts to develop a pool of qualified applicants for the future human resource needs even though specific vacancies do not exist so it is a continuous process it goes on and it goes on in a planned way recruitment needs are of three types first is planned that is the needs arising from changes in organization and retirement policy then second type is anticipated these needs are those movements in personnel which an organization can predict by studying trends in internal and external environment and third is unexpected that is resignation death accidents illness so such things which are not accept, expected so these are the three types of recruitment needs moving further now we will study about the purpose and importance of recruitment why it is so important why it is so necessary for an organization it attracts and encourages more and more candidates to apply in the organization so a healthy and a growing organization always have a large number of candidates applying to have a job in that organization creates a talent pool of candidates to enable the selection of best candidates for the organization so the bigger the talent pool the more effective selection process can take place determine present and future requirements of the organization in conjunction with its personnel planning and job analysis activities so both things go in synchronization with each other then recruitment is the process which links the employers with the employees they get a connection then increase the pool of job candidates at minimum cost now we will study purpose and importance of recruitment it helps increase the success rate of selection process by decreasing number of visibly underqualified or overqualified job applicants it helps in reducing the probability that job applicants once recruited and selected will leave the organization only after a short period of time it meets the organizational legal and social obligations then it begin identify and preparing potential job applicants who will appropriate who will be appropriate candidates 
and in the last increase organization and individual effectiveness of various recruitment techniques and sources for all types of job applicant now we'll move on to recruitment process the recruitment and selection is the major function of human resource department it is the backbone of any organization and as well as human resource department and recruitment process is the first step towards creating the competitive strength and the recruitment strategic advantage for the organization it involves a systematic procedure from sourcing the candidates to arranging and conducting the interviews and requires many resources and time so recruitment process is not a small process it is a very big process and it starts with attracting prospective candidates then applications come and then further procedures go on till the candidates come into the organization so it includes many things including interviews and many other tasks so first of all is identify the vacancy first step second step is preparing job description and person specification job description means what when in what amount has to be done in that particular job all the things which have to be done in the job comes under job description and job specification means what kind of skills what kind of educational qualifications knowledge etc are required in a person to do that particular job then third point is advertising the vacancy fourth is managing the response of the prospective candidates then shortlisting those candidates out of the application pool then arrange interviews for them then conducting interviews and decision making so it always goes in a circle and it is always an ongoing process now we will study various sources of recruitment every organization has the option of choosing the candidates for its recruitment processes from two kinds of sources that is internal and external so as we can see over here there are some internal sources given and as some external sources given first of all we will study internal sources this include transfers within the organization promotions within the organization then upgrading demotion retired employees are rehired then retrenched employees they are being called then dependents and relatives of diseased employees in case there is a death or some mishap occur then dependents of those people are being given the job see so these are all internal sources of recruitment now coming on to external sources first is press advertisements then educational institutes the companies visit these institutes and hire people from them then placement agencies play a major role employment exchanges then labor contractors unsolicited applicants employee referrals recruitment at factory gate so these are the external sources methods of recruitment are there now internal method direct method internal method is promotion and transfer direct method is professional institutions seminars mobile office indirect method is advertisement in newspapers advertisement in te television and radio journals and technical magazines third party methods these includes agencies friends and family then firms professional associations etc components of recruitment policy what kind of recruitment policy should be there and what should be its components this is very important because the recruitment policy of any organization defines the standards and public image of that organization the general recruitment policies and terms of the organization should include recruitment services of consultants recruitment of temporary employees unique recruitment situations selection process job descriptions the terms and conditions of the employment a recruitment policy of an organization should be such that it should focus on recruiting the best potential people so this is should be the main focus that people having the best skills knowledge related to our tasks related to our company's goals and objectives should be hired at priority to ensure that every applicant and employee is treated equally with dignity and respect every person wants respect and every person should be given equal dignity and equal respect 
in every situation third is to aid and encourage employees in realizing their full potential so employees should be given full help and they should be uh, motivated then transparent task oriented and merit based selection next point is weightage during selection given to factors that suit organization needs next is optimization of manpower at the time of selection process defining competent authority to approve each selection abides by relevant public policy and legislation on hiring then integrates employee needs with the organizational needs now we will study some recent trends in recruitment first is outsourcing that yes we try to have a third party working for us then poaching raiding that we collect best candidates from other organizations and by any means that comes under poaching then e recruitment with the help of internet advantages of recruitment first is low cost it saves time saves money then no intermediaries like no third party no agency or no a middleman is there then reduction in time for recruitment recruitment of right type of people we hire only that candidate which is helpful and which is required for our organization then efficiency of recruitment process now there is a difference given between recruitment and selection recruitment is like searching for candidates for employment and stimulating them to apply selection is such a thing which selects the most suitable candidates out of them second is basic purpose of recruitment is to create a talent pool whereas the basic purpose of selection is to choose the right candidates to fill various positions in that organization from that talent pool third is recruitment is a positive process selection is a negative process selection recruitment is concerned with tapping the sources of human resources selection is concerned with selecting the most suitable candidate through interviews and tests fifth is there is no contract of recruitment established selection results in a contract of service between employer and selected employee now we'll study some factors which are affecting recruitment first is external factors that is supply and demand how much demand is there accordingly supply would be there then labor market then image and goodwill of the company it is also very important factor which really affects the recruitment part because people try to get connected with that organization which has a good public image and is having a great reputation among people living in society then political social legal environment because every person who connects with any organization tries to have a better future so they always study political social legal environment of that area related to the tasks which which are being performed by that organization and then get convinced about connecting with that organization then unemployment rate and then competitors because competitors also play a major role if there are many competitors in that market the candidates will have option and they will try to get connected with the best possible option first and then coming to the second and and so on now internal factors that is recruitment policy of the organization human resource planning of the organization how much effective it, it is and how much forecasting they can do in a proper manner then size of the firm size of the firm also determines the number of people who will be working and accordingly recruitment will be done then cost of recruitment how much is the cost whether the finances of the organization allow, allow that kind of costing or not so it also affects the recruitment and then comes growth and expansion whether the organization wants to grow if it is growing it will hire more people and so on in the end we'll study hr challenges in recruitment that is adaptability to globalization globalization has made whole world a village global village and the changes taking place across the globe hr should maintain the timeliness of the process then lack of motivation is also a challenge for recruitment then process analysis the whole process has to be analyzed the process should be flexible 
adaptive and responsive to the immediate requirements and last is strategic prioritization the emerging new systems are both an opportunity as well as challenge for hr professionals therefore reviewing staffing needs and prioritizing the tasks to pre- to meet the changes in the market has become a challenge for the recruitment professionals so students in this lecture we have studied the definition introduction of recruitment various processes of recruitment various techniques of recruitment what are the various factors which affect the recruitment then we did some advantages of recruitment so recruitment is such a thing which is the backbone of any human resource department in any organization and if recruitment process is done and completed in an effective manner it directly affects the growth of the organization in an optimistic way so if there is any doubt you may please ask me that is all with the lecture thank you very much